along in dark. Um, I actually got this, if I can just, damn it, get it, um, special edition box. Okay, um, sorry, it's got all washing all over the floor. I actually came with a few extras. One handed, okay, one handed, I'm doing this. Uh, soundtrack, art book, uh, making of, well, the art books down there, you can see. And the Edward Canby model. It's not bad. I will stand it up, but there's no point really. If I stand it up, it'll just get knocked over and probably chipped and scratched out. So I'll keep it in the box for safekeeping. So, yeah. But the game itself, though, back to the game itself. It's shit, okay? No point, no point in it. It's a shit game. Bad programming, because, um... The enemies in the game have no brains whatsoever. I found a... We were walking around, went to a, mon went to a, mon went to a monster. I thought, shit, I go over I turned around, he was still stood there. I walked straight to into his face, and he didn't move one inch. Okay? I'm serious about this. Um, yeah, that's pretty shit. Because they're unleashed, which is okay, but bad controls. Ghostbusters, get it. The Wii version is vastly, un vastly underrated. The controls are brilliant. Story-wise, compared to the 360 version, um, I'm not too sure. I don't own the 360 version, as you can see. But, yeah. No More Heroes. Buy it. That's all I can say. It's a brilliant, one of the best games on the Wii. Boom Blocks, yep. Boom itself, uh, yeah. Tomb Raider Anniversary, Metal Slug Anthology up here, um, Star Wars Complete Saga, Call of Duty 3, I don't own 4 yet, all, all World at War, but 3 is okay, uh, Trump's on a second opinion, fucking hard, Space Oddity, Onijibara, yeah, I own Onijibara, <laughs> yeah, Bikini Zombie Slayer says a lot, um, Samurai Warriors Katana, which is basically um, Dragon Quest Swords, but even shit. Because you just point on the character and press the A button instead of swinging. Well, there is some swinging, but that's why you like strong attacks. Yeah. Then from on to my DS and PSP games. Um, I haven't got much really. That's my DS and that's my PSP. And the kids are bigger, but I haven't got much. Um, Super Mario 64 DS. Got a jar of pennies there. <laughs> Done. Uh, Final Fantasy 3. Star Fox Command. Now, that is worse than. Star Fox Assault. I mean, doing independence day to every single mothership really gets boring really fast. Uh, Sonic Rush. 92%. One of the good Sonic games. Best Sonic game ever. Well, not ever. I think Sonic 3 Knuckles takes that medal pretty easily. But I think it's a close third or fourth place. Oh well. Rush Adventure. Also a 92. <laughs> Both games get exactly the same result. Same with Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy I got 97%. Mario Galaxy 2 got exactly the same. So yeah, um, Sonic Chronicles. I don't care what anyone says, I love this game. It's a brilliant RPG. It's actually, I rarely get into RPGs. This one, I mean, yeah, it was Sonic. It, Sonic was in it, so that's probably the main reasons. But it's really, really immersive with its gameplay. Sure, the random battles were pretty pain in the ass, but... Really is worth playing. Um, Elite Beat Agents. Now the only reason I really got this is because I my friend at college had Owen Dan on a um, R4 card. So I thought, thought if I was trying to an English version, I thought Elite Beat Agents, so I bought it, loved it, and I imported the first one and the second one. I have the entire, I have the Owen Dan collection. So yeah, I have all three Elite Beat Agents games, like Owen Dan games. They are hilarious and really fun to play. The music, not perfect, very short. It's really, really addictive to listen to. So yeah, uh, Metro Prime Hunters, hard. And I actually completed this, because I get to get to certain points in the game. And either the bottom takes over, because either the bottom takes over, my hands cramp up, or the fact it's, I, I die so many times in the same fucking area, it's unbelievable. So yeah, um, part of my glass. It's very short. It's brilliant, but it's good, a bit short. I don't own Spirit Track, by the way. I haven't played that game yet. It's been out for a while, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat, which is just Ultimate Mortal Kombat 
free for the Super Nintendo with um, uh, puzzle combat as well, which is good distraction, but it's still it's not combat or combat, okay? Uh, WarioWare Touched, which which is one of the best games on the DS. It's good. Uh, Project Rub, the Sonic Team game. It's uh, I remember this, there was a story from um, Nintendo magazine saying how this parent didn't want to buy it because um, on the back it says um, for wheeling wonderful in rub love rub touch shout and blow to perform madcap stunts and rescue a girl blow okay you that, you can understand the reason why this parent didn't now actually buy this game for the kid because you actually are trying to get a girl not like so you sleep with her but you you know what I mean it's just ridiculous uh, Metro Prime Pinball which is brilliant by the way Sure, it's this it's pinball with Metro Prime on it, and this actually came with the um, Rumble Pack for the DS. It sounds sh it sounds shit when you put it in, but actually the feedback is really works. But you can actually use it with other games. I use it with Owen Dan. And every time you tap the beat, it actually um, rumbled very lightly, but it it's, it's good. Okay, <laughs> I just say, I'm thinking it's good over and over again. Uh, PSP Sonic Rivals. Um, this is not perfect. Okay. Shape person 2D and the racing system works, but it is slow. It it is slow. It's unbelievable. Uh, Daxter, it's brilliant. You have to have this. So yeah, I actually have the whole Jack and Daxter collection. Pretty sure about that. MGS um, graphic novel. I don't actually own the graphic novel, so I thought oh, I'll get the game. So. I don't want. I haven't played Acid. I haven't played Acid Two. I haven't played the um, Portable Ops or Police Walker. I played Portable Ops Plus, but I traded that back in because it really, really wasn't what I expected. I really expected the story, but no. It like um, like how MGS Two and MGS Three, MGS Two Substance and MGS Three Subsistence both had the entire games beforehand. Portable Ops, Portable Ops Plus doesn't have it. Apparently, that's why I traded it in. Um, Shin Budokai. Yeah, I have a few Dragon Ball Z games. I, I love Dragon Ball Z. This is actually worth getting. It, the story is absolute tripe on a bike, so to speak. Because um, it tries following one of the movies, um, Fusion Reborn, but it steers off on a U-turn, really. Sonic Rivals 2. Um, it's, got a few, it's got a few enhancements from the first one, but the point is we have to play every single one of these characters. 4 was okay. Play the game through eight times is taking the piss. Okay? Um, this is my brother's game, um, Scooby Doo. I'm not joking, um, my brother got the PSP, I got a DS. Um, he was, he, he's left, he's gone now, but he left his PSP games and Scooby Doo. Yeah. It's, I played it for a while, it's very bad. Um, and Car, yeah, again, another one of his. From the front, uh, Pursuit Force. That's actually really, really weird. Just from car to car trying to hunt down stuff, it's really weird. Fun as well. And I got to move the um, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. So that's my game collection. Um, I'm missing quite a few games because um, people borrowing it. I'm miss missing Chronicles of Riddick, Assault and Dark of Phoenix because my um, uh, V Director was all of Brothers borrowing that. And um, my. Um, well, my ex-girlfriend borrowing um, Don't Make Cry Free, Odin Sphere, and uh, what's the last one? Um, Dragon Quest uh, Eight. I think it's Genius Kin is subtitle. So that's my game collection altogether, and I hope you enjoyed this. It was about being nearly half an hour long. Yeah. Um, so I'll see you next time in the next review. Bye.